In this video let's talk about how to remove folders from a MacBook desktop but without actually deleting them, because that would be really simple, like if you have something on your home screen like a folder, then you can just drag it to your uh, trash can and it's just gone forever, like it doesn't bother you there. But the problem is that you would probably want to keep those files without them showing up on the desktop, and there are a couple of ways how you can go about it. What you should understand is that the files have to be somewhere, so you just cannot make them disappear from the desktop. But the thing that I like to do is to put it to my documents, and that way you know where it is, you have access to it, but it's not there bothering you on the desktop. So the way it works is that you open up the finder, so you click on pretty much any folder, and on the left panel you click on the documents, which is like a section of all of the files, and it depends on what you have there. But you are on your desktop, and you simply drag the folders that you have on the desktop to your documents folder. That way you, cr you just move them there, they disappear from the home screen from the desktop, so it's not there, uh, it's just not visible there, but you can still access, ac access it easily, you know where it is, you know how you can locate it and get stuff from it, but it just doesn't bother you there. This of course doesn't have to be documents, it could be pretty much anything else, like you could save it to your downloads, or it doesn't really matter, but it just has to be somewhere. By the way guys, before we continue with some other things that you might want to hide from the desktop, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, consider subscribing because I try to post videos like these all the time so you can find some value in them, like quick videos, hopefully informative, so make sure to do that and we can see each other in the future videos. Anyways, there could be potentially other things that show up on your desktop other than folders that you want to get rid of. And there are some ways how you can actually manage that. So if you open up Finder and you click on uh, the Finder uh, logo and go to the preferences like uh, settings for uh, that app, there are some options of course. So you can manage the tags, the sidebar, some advanced options, but uh, in the general you have show these items on uh, the desktop. And this pretty much um, tracks or manages which things are going to pop up on your desktop. Because if you want to remove all of the folders, you probably want to have a clean MacBook home screen. So by that logic, I assume that you don't want some other things bothering you there. For example, the hard disks, external disks, CDs, DVDs, uh, connected servers. A lot of times it can happen that some other things show up on uh, your desktop, so if you uncheck all of them then it's just not going to be visible there and it's just not going to be really bothering you. But yeah, in a case like this where you want to keep your uh, MacBook clean, the desktop, you don't want to clutter it with anything, the common sense is not saving anything to the desktop and it may sound like really simple but it doesn't really have to be. If you, for example, take a screenshot, by default it's going to be saved to the desktop. Again, adding files to your desktop that you just don't want them to be there. This can be modified if you click or press Command Shift 5 and click on the options and choose where the screenshot should be saved. I made a dedicated specific video about screenshots on a Mac, so if you want to check it out, definitely do so, because I think that it would help you, it's like really in-depth, like 7 minutes of screenshots on a Mac, so definitely take a look at it. Anyways guys, there would be so many things that I could add, like managing the files and desktop, but I feel like this is kind of out of the scope of this video, so if you liked it and if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment saying whatever you want. I will most likely get your comment and reply because I do that to most of the comments. And you can also subscribe so you don't miss future videos. I am looking forward to seeing you in the future uploads and yeah, we can see each other there. Have a great rest of the day.